I'm going to show you how I make turkey gravy. So when your turkey is resting, that means it's just relaxing, it's keeping warm, and it's keeping all the juices in. That's really important. We're going to do the gravy. So if you looked at my uh, my video for how to roast the perfect turkey, we had a lovely kind of a, a trivet of vegetables. So we had some red onion, it's in here, some carrots, some celery, some garlic, and we have a little bit of uh, turkey stock. Um, I'm going to match them up, but I want to show you this beautiful product, Carol Stock Market. It's a, she's a wonderful lady, so she is in dairy, and all her products are really natural, and she's just a very hard-working lady. Super, you know, beef stock, chicken stock, veg stock. She's excellent. Look her up. Really, really good. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to actually mash her vegetables. So just, I'm going to use a tea towel just to hold this. So just be careful. So you're kind of mushing your vegetables up, and that's the garlic, which we didn't peel. So remember this, uh, the turkey was in for over three hours, 20 minutes per pound. So we want to get all the lovely flavors combining now. So kind of mash that up there. Okay. Using a regular potato masher is perfect. Let's turn this up. We're going to put in Madeira and Madeira is a uh, really, really gorgeous. It's a fortified wine. It's beautiful guys. Trust me, it's worth getting. Even if you're doing some roast beef, it is so delicious. It really, really is. Now we're just gonna whisk this. Just combine this all together. So that's little bits of onion and everything. And then a little bit of flour, or you can thicken this with some corn flour. So I'm gonna use a little bit of flour here. A couple of spoonfuls of plain flour in there. And that's gonna thicken your lovely gravy. So I've turned up the heat, just bring it over. It is hot, so be careful. And if you put too much flour in, don't worry, you can put some more of the stock in. Now, I want to show you this because this is, I think, a lovely product. So it's a poultry gravy. Part of this Simply Better. It's Irish made. It's made from Spice of Life. So they make the lovely custard, you know, the lovely peppered sauce, tartar sauce, all that for the Simply Better collection. And they're based down in Cork and Dunmanway. So I'm actually going to put a full tub of this in. And with roast chicken. Actually, do it the same, guys. The roast chicken with that lovely gravy is really delicious. And I'm going to put a little bit of turkey. I put in too much flour, so now we need to loosen it because you don't want a really heavy, gloopy kind of gravy. So this is the stock that I told you about from Carl. Comes in little pouches, keeps really well good shelf life, and then you can freeze it so you can make extra. But our products are very clean, very natural, and she's using lovely free-range Irish poultry beef, that kind of thing. So these are some wonderful Irish producers. When you think of Spice of Life down in Dunmanway, and you think also of Hogan's Turkey, first of all, with the turkey. Now a little bit of fresh thyme, love fresh thyme. So I'm just gonna literally cut some of this off, and we're gonna chop this. So remember when we were roasting the turkey, we put thyme into it, and then we actually put a little bit of the thyme into the butter. So thyme is definitely the main flavoring herb flavoring should I say in this gravy if you want to make the turkey gravy ahead or get a base for it what you can do is get some chicken bones roast them off put them into a saucepan with some vegetables carrots onion celery and leek and that can be done over the next couple of days a little bit of thyme water and that can be the base for your actual turkey or even better if you've left over roast chicken you can make that and then add that into your turkey uh, juices. So that's really, really important. We need some salt, just gonna put more flour in, and some black pepper. And that's it. I'm gonna pass it through a sieve. I'll just use a ladle, I think so. So I'll just show you the lovely gravy so it's thickened up passing it through a sieve and again you can do this with some thick diluted corn flour so you get corn flour mix it with some cold water push this back just watch just with the back of the the um, ladle and that should be it Madeira honestly works well or red wine but Madeira is nicer so if you can get that trust me you'll be thanking me for it and then you can do this lovely gravy with roast chicken, so it's not that you're just going to buy it at Christmas. Port would be nice too, but I think Madeira's nicer. It's what we use a lot actually in the restaurant. So we're nearly there. So just put it 
push it through a sieve. I'm not going to do it all, I just want to show it to you. Pass the rest through and I just want to show you the consistency and the colour. So that's it. And then taste it. So don't have it too heavy. You can add more stock into it to loosen it up. It's so good. Jeez, I drink that for the cup. It's so delicious. Have that just nice and warm over the sliced turkey. Trust me, this turkey gravy is a winner. It really is. So enjoy this and a very happy Christmas to you.